On November the 8th, 2021, Thomas Pesquet and other astronauts came back from the International Space Station. The spaceship landed on a field where some paramedics and doctors were ready to take care of the astronauts. When Pesquet came out of the spaceship, he couldn't walk anymore. The ambulance driver scared Pesquet on a stretcher to drive him to hospital for examination. When it was finished, the doctors looked at Thomas's X-ray and found out there was something wrong with his bones. In fact, they discovered that Pesquet and his colleagues had lost bone mass and muscle strength, which leads us to the question, what had caused this loss? That is the question we're going to answer today. Welcome to the science of the body. First of all, we will explain what gravity is and why it impacts the bone mass. When you are on Earth, you can walk on the ground, but you can't fly. In space, it's different. You can't walk on the ground, but you can float anywhere in the space station. But what causes this difference? When you are on Earth, gravity is a strength that attracts you to the center of the Earth. This phenomenon keeps your bones and your muscles active. But in space, it's different. Astronauts are always impacted by gravity, but all things in the ISS are in constant freefall. That's why they can float in the ISS. We call that microgravity. Therefore, we can easily understand why they don't really need their bones and their muscles to stay active. They just push on the surface with their finger to move themselves all around the space station. In addition to this basic physics phenomenon, there is another effect that affects the body, time. In fact, the older you get, the more your body deteriorates. We lose about 1.5% of bone mass each year and 20 to 30% of muscle strength per life. In space, this effect is amplified. When astronauts go on space mission, they lose about 1.5% of bone mass per month and 20 to 30 percent of muscle strength per mission. Finally, what interests us is what can we do to treat this massive problem for astronauts. There are very simple solutions. The only things to do are to keep your body in good shape and take some pills that help to address the mass loss issue. What you should remember, if you want to become an astronaut, you should know that your body has to be as strong and fit as possible because coming back from space is a tough moment to live. So, don't forget, if you see Pesquet on his bed who doesn't look happy after a mission, it's maybe because he skipped a workout session. Houston? Over. <laughs>